Do you remember The Lorax by Dr. Seuss? This classic story provides a great backdrop to consider how humans affect the health of our planet. Break students up into think, pair, share groups and have them write out definitions for the made up words from the book. Then ask them to share them out with the class. You can really get explicit about the ways of thinking in class. Ask students to write a sequel to the Lorax using futures thinking. Explore each character's values in the book and then hold a debate based on those values. If you teach sixth grade, meet this sixth grade ELA state standard by comparing and contrasting the message of the Lorax with a lesser known story, the Truax. The Truax is a rebuttal to the Lorax produced by the National Wood Flooring Manufacturers Association. As you might expect, a book written by wood flooring manufacturers will provide a nice comparison to the Lorax. With older or more gifted students, try reading Walden or Life in the Woods, published in 1854 by American poet, philosopher, and naturalist Henry David Thoreau. Have students explore more advanced questions. How can we learn to live within nature's limits? Was that goal easier to achieve back in the 1800s? How have things changed since the time of Thoreau? What choices did humanity make back in the 1800s that still affect us today? Walden is long and dense, so it'll take your class multiple sessions to read through even a portion of it. Satisfy this 7th grade ELA state standard by assigning journal entries after each reading session. At the end of the unit, everyone can reread their journals and see how their perspectives have changed over time. So whether you integrate sustainability into your class with Dr. Seuss or with Henry David Thoreau, reading the classics that already have a sustainability theme to them is a surefire way to get your class forming their own unique perspectives and mobilizing the four ways of thinking.